So type 2 diabetes remission, a big question, an important question is, is it sustainable? So the first thing I, I'd like to tell you is I think the, the, the record in my own clinical practice for type 2 diabetes remission stands at nine years and counting. So that's great news. Um, however, there are threats to type 2 diabetes remission. I've had a number of patients who did brilliantly and then for some reason the haemoglobin A1c starts to climb again and they go out of remission. I suppose this means we, we have to keep an eye on it and that's why anybody that's had type 2 diabetes and goes into remission still needs screening. You still need regular checks, you still need to have that reassurance that your diabetes is in remission. So I wouldn't ever stop checking my patients uh, in terms of haemoglobin A1c and also the retinal checks as well are very important. So what are the threats to your type 2 diabetes remission? I think mainly for most people it's the addictive nature of carbohydrates. Uh, the greatest threat I see is Christmas because a number of people who do wonderfully, Christmas comes along and then it's one mince pie and then it's a number and then you start gaining weight. So if you are one of those wonderfully lucky people who got your type 2 diabetes into remission, keep an eye on your waistline. If your waist is beginning to go up again, climb on the scales, are you gaining weight? Because if you're gaining weight, you may be uh, compromising uh, what you've um, achieved. I often think of carb creep. Uh, this has happened to me so many times where I, I gave up biscuits or I gave up cake and then you have a little bit and then you say well it's just a treat or it's just a birthday or it's just a party and then um, it's weird how you begin having it more and more. Many of my patients, it's interesting, make an appointment to come and see me and they do this because they know they need to start again because they've drifted a bit and I, I'm seeing people every week and they say oh you know I know I've slipped back. The great news is if you've done it once, you can do it again. Uh, so you just, I just talk to people about, well, how did you manage to lose your weight? And they say, well, I gave up bread and so on. And say, well, that's just how you do it again. I've got, I can think of one patient now who's been in and out of diabetes three times, but every time he learns the lesson and deals with the carb creep, he's able to do it faster and more efficiently. And we have a laugh together because every time his weight, his end weight is better than it was the previous time. And at this point in time, this, this guy weighs less than he did in the year 2000. Uh, so the, yeah, how about this? I think we learn from mistakes. I think many of us, as we grow older, we make mistakes, but we learn from them. And that's, that's what intelligence is all about. It's about learning from mistakes. So be honest about carb creep. Use it as an opportunity to think, well, how would I be more organized? What were the problems that led me to start having the carbs or sugar again. For many people, it might be things like birthdays, Christmas, or even journeys. Think about those problems and come up with strategies. Uh, so um, for me, I found that eating out in restaurants was a problem because I didn't like to be seen as fussy. But I just tell the, the waiter now, I'm so sorry, I have type two diabetes please don't give me any potatoes, could I have a load of green veg? It's a small thing, but it's made a big difference to me. And I actually find that people are completely helpful now and I get the meal I'm wanting. So for each of you, think about strategies in advance and points to learn from the mistakes you made. And there's no reason uh, that diabetes remission can't last. So just to summarize, uh, some top tips for keeping type 2 diabetes in remission where we want it. First of all, keep an eye on your weight. And even more specifically, watch your waistline because um, if that spare tire is growing again, that might be an early indication of, of what I call carb creep. So that's the first thing. The second, watch out for carb creep itself. If, uh, if your family are noticing you're starting to have biscuits or you're starting to eat more bread. Think about it seriously. Be honest with yourself and come up with strategies uh, to avoid it. Another top tip actually is so many people, when they go low carb, notice they have more energy. What are you doing with that energy? 
what about exercise? And if you were going to exercise, what exercise would suit you personally? Not everybody wants to go to a gym. Even brisk walking can make a big difference uh, to remission of type 2 diabetes. So those are my top tips.